नमस्कार नमस्कार वेलकम टू आवर चैनल नेशनल आइकॉन होप यू ऑल आर लाइकिंग आवर वेब सीरीज वेरी मच एज वी वेर कंटिन्यूइंग द डिस्कशन ऑन बेंगाल फिमाइन द ग्रेट बेंगाल फिमाइन ऑफ 1943. सो टुडे इन आवर इंट्रो सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ लिटल मोर वी आर गोइंग टू गो इन टू अ लिटल डिप स्टडी ऑफ डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द ग्रेट बेंगाल फिमाइन ऑफ नाइनटीन now there were many officials and non officials channels which were formed and organized for the famine relief work of the great famine of bengal 1943 there were many committees as well but in all this dr shyam prashad mukherjee's role need a special mention as he rose above the narrow party alignments and he was not only associated himself with the works of for the hungry people in the famine relief works but he became a big symbol for the bengal organizations the bengal provincial hindu mahasabha relief committee and the bengal relief committee the bengal relief committee has its network in 25 districts and calcutta serving 3 lakh households as it was acknowledged many years later by president venkat raman that it is a pity that due to partition politics and distorted history the giant of a man that was mukherjee does not even find an honorable mention so for today we have this much only for our introduction part and we will now move to our body part of the episode so let's move on thank you namaskar it is not as if Congress were not aware of the magnitude of calamity. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit traveled through Bengal and was horrified of what was happening. She established camps for infants and young children, rescuing destitute children from the streets by founding an Indian chapter of Save the Children through the All India Women's Conference, which allowed funds raised by Madame Chiang Kai Shek. Eleanor Roosevelt and especially the Nobel laureate Pearl S. Buck to flow into famine relief. The three foreigners contributed a total of twenty-five thousand dollars, a considerable sum for the time.
dear friends and all my colleagues i would first of all like to thank on behalf of shyam prasad and lightman federation every weekly basis as we are appearing with these new episodes which is related to dr shyam prasad these videos are very crucial not only crucial this is you can say the precious things because it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of analysis to bring out all these kind of videos and as you all know guys that this is the time for the covid 19 due to which we do not have that much resources that we can definitely go ahead and support these videos henceforth it's a hard thing for us so we would request everyone to support and cooperate with us and to share this videos as much as you can from your end every weekly basis right we have been speaking about the the incidents what exactly happened at that part of time but today when we came across in front of you guys it's been the episode of the big great bengal famine what exactly happened in 1943 to 1944 this was the time when the british was in india at that part of time does anybody know which organization was it that actually supported that was not only the organization it's one of the big mission today which is at the ram krishna mission this ram krishna mission has started from the time of swami vivekananda so today we are going to speak about the, the great bengal famine in 1943 and 1944 what exactly happened at that part of time and this is the episode 11 what exactly you are viewing us So the Ram Krishna Mission remains the only organization mentioned by name for its significant humanitarian contribution. During the Bengal famine by the Famine Inquiry Commission report it proceed procured and effectively distributed over 1240 tons of food grains and ran orphans which later got cover to prominent education institution its role was a widely acknowledged by many international book and publications on the famine as also by william fisher in life magazine that india did have local self governance at the time and that did could not have been silent witness to what was happening i gradually pierced together the indian response this is what we found at that part of time so this is the incident what exactly happened at the same time there was a nobel peace prize author that was rabindranath tagore who has written a song a poem to go ahead and describe his feeling across indians guys do you know right which song was it it was none other uh, another song it was jodi tor ek dak shune kyo noy ashe tobe ekla cholo re this was a bengal bengali which was written by ravindranath tagore so i'm i'm sure guys that you guys do not know much of bengali is there are language barriers and all So I'll definitely let you know what exactly this song is. This is something related to if no one heals your call then walk alone. If no one speaks to you oh unlucky one if no one speaks to you if everyone turns away if everyone fears to speak then with an open heart without hesitation speak your mind alone. If everyone walks away oh lucky one everyone walks away if no one looks back towards the your unpredictable path then with torn pricked on the path blooded feet walk alone if no one heed your call then walk alone if no one shines a light on the path oh unlucky one 
If the dark night brings a storm at the door, then let the lightning ignite the light in you and alone to shine on the path. If no one heeds your call, then walk alone. So this was the slogan which was given by Rabindranath Tagore at that part of time. It's not only the English version, so this is what exactly the song means. You guys will definitely hear this song by the different artists, by the different people right, who has actually gone ahead and contributed towards it. So we request everyone to come forward and cooperate with us. You can share your views against this. So this is the English version what exactly I have shared now. Let me tell you guys what exactly Hindi is. May, maybe my Hindi is not so good guys. So you can just uh, excuse me for that. Teri awaz pe koi na aaye agar to fir chal akela re. Chal akela re, chal akela re, chal akela re, chal akela re. To fir chal akela re. Chal akela, chal akela, chal akela re. तेरी आवाज पे कोई ना आए अगर तो फिर चल अकेला रे चल अकेला रे चल अकेला रे चल अकेला रे यदि कोई भी ना बोले ओरे ओरे ओ भागे कोई भी ना बोले यदि सभी मुंह मोड़ रहे सब डरा करे यदि सभी मुंह मोड़ करे सभी डरा करे सो दिस इज द सॉन्ग वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू एंड अप टूडे ओवर हियर गाइज यू विल बी एबल टू हियर दिस सॉन्ग इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड डेफिनेटली वेरी सुन This is what exactly from my end today. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, and we are going to share these things right on the social media portals. I just request every one of you to show your love towards Dr. Shyam Prasad Mukherjee. You guys have seen lot of uh, leaflets, lot of posts, lot of uh, sharings happening. Why? just to make the awareness in india who was this legend who has actually gone ahead and given his complete life in the indian independence but at the end what exactly happened nobody knows about it there were so many freedom fighters right who came across india so many freedom fighters who came across india to save india but there were so many huge things which was there nobody knows about it so guys watch us hear us and share your feedback which will definitely be one of the valuable feedback for the entire team of production the creative team who is working behind it it's not only me right who is coming in front of the screen it doesn't go and take a much of time but definitely yes the production team who is working behind it it takes a lot of lot of lot of time to edit so share it follow us on youtube share it as much as you can show your love of course shout out to that's all from my end guys jai hind jai bharat love you india